but I'm gonna get the butter figure. Okay. So. Oh, dude. <laughs> the butter do, the, the butter do shake did not hold up. It's completely separated. <laughs> okay, I got my butter figure. Dude, do not eat that. Please don't eat that. This has turned into spoiled milk. Hey everybody, welcome to OK Cooks. I'm Will. And I'm Alex. And on today's episode, we got something special planned for you. That's true. So we don't have a normal recipe. Well, we don't have the recipe yet. We will. Uh, we're gonna be playing a game today, and if you guys like it, maybe we'll do it more often. But the game is called, I buy it. I cook it. Or. I buy it. I cook it. So the rules are pretty simple. We will rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins is the buyer. That's right. They get $20 and they'll get to go to wherever they want. Store of choice gas station, fast food place, uh, their favorite restaurant, Olive Garden. They can go anywhere. They get $20, but they got to recreate a meal. Okay. And we'll judge it at the end. It's either okay cooked or... Not. Okay... Trash can? Okay trashed. <laughs> and we're going to keep record. Because if we do these, at the end of the year, maybe we've got an okay cooked champion. Wow. We're competing. I think we will. Man. A lot of pressure. And it's about time we make something that's disgusting. So the odds of us making something disgusting in this game, pretty high. So nothing we've made yet has been disgusting? No. Everything's been amazing. That's true. So uh, should we get started with the game? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> well, that was easy. Well, for the inaugural, I buy it, I cook it. You're, I buy it, you cook it. I'm buying it. And where You're are we going? It. I know where I'm going. I've been thinking of it. Okay. I'm going Dollar General. You ready? All right, let's hop in my car. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I, got, I got two bags worth of stuff. All right, we're back from the Dollar General and I spent $20. I got as much as I could with $20 bills. I'm excited to see what it is. You ready for the grand reveal? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let me run you through it. All right, I'm gonna hold out my hands. You place things in my hands. All right, first ingredient. Yes. Oh, a Boneless ham steak. There you go, Smithfield, man. Is, this isn't like sliced ham, it's it's just a thick slice of ham. It's one thick boy lotus of, of ham. Okay. Are you ready for the next thing? Yep. I do love some ham. Oh, queso. <laughs> Rico's. This looks great. It's Uncle Rico's queso. This looks really good. Look at it, Uncle Rico's queso. There you go. Queso blanco, white, white cheese queso. sauce. All right, next thing. Next thing. Chips. Oh, hot fries. Very excited about hot these. Hot fries are pretty good. I love hot fries. You've got a pretty good mix of stuff to work with. Yes. Keep All it right. coming. All right. Uh, this one, I don't know how exciting this will be, but I figured, all right, yeah, I had to get you something. Some sort of A base. vessel? Yep. All right. So that's the first bag. <laughs> don't you worry. I got a second bag. So we're going to make hot ham and cheeses, right? You love a hot ham and cheese. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I hate ham and cheese. <laughs> All right, well, this will bring you back to earth. All right. It's cold. Dog. I mean, this looks great. Butterfinger ice cream. Okay, you ready? Ready. <laughs> Butterfingers. Because <laughs> if you get the ice cream, you got to have a finger. What if we make a Butterfinger cheese sauce? Oh, dude, world is your oyster. All right. I'm on to you. We're driving this shit. All right. Let's Are see where ready? it goes. Okay, now this is a lot of food. I figured we would need something to quench our thirst. Sure. Open your hands like you're gonna hold a beverage. <laughs> Code red, do vault. I don't know what, you can use it as a sauce, an olive oil. What? I don't know. It's not an oil. Okay, I only have one ingredient left. <laughs> All right. You got a lot to work with. Yeah. I can't wait to see what dish you make with this. Last but not least. <laughs> it's Gorton's. Gordon's fish sticks. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, that's not my problem. I buy it, you oh. cook it. Baja tacos. What? They're right there. You you kind of have Baja fish fish and ham. So uh, should we give Alex a minute to kind of think through what he's going to do? Yeah. All right. So we'll, we have, we've displayed the ingredients. Let us recap. We got a boneless ham steak. We got hot fries. We got queso, Butterfinger ice cream, Butterfinger king size, hamburger buns, Code Red, uh, Mountain Dew Code Red, Mountain Dew Voltage, and some Gordon's 
fish sticks. We'll give Alex a minute and then we'll be back and he'll run us through what he's gonna be making us tonight. Great. <laughs> High five. All right, Alex, you've had a minute. What are you making tonight? Mm. Well, I think for starters, we gotta have a uh, beverage, clearly. The dew. I'm a thirsty boy. So what we're gonna do with the dew is what I'm gonna be calling a butter dew or a dew finger. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. What do you mean a dew finger? I need two cups. Just cups? Yeah. Two cups, two spoons, no ice. All right, two cups, two spoons, no ice. Yep. All right, we're starting with Butterfinger ice cream. <laughs> Next cup. Two cups of Butterfinger ice cream. Mm. All right, now what? Now, <laughs> we add the dew. Uh, your mind works in a... In, <laughs> in a, an awful way. In a weird way. All right. Is one gonna be a blue, what'd you call these? A finger? A, a dew finger. A dew finger? A blue dew finger. Yeah. Oh, they're both gonna be blue dew fingers. Yeah. So you're gonna use All the right. red dew later? I wanna see, yeah, so I wanna see, mix it up. I wanna see how it does with like a little bit of liquid versus a lot of liquid, if it blends better. Mine is not blending. This is frothy. Yeah. Mine blended. Oh! <laughs> Chunky. Chocolate and dew? What flavor know, is man. the vault? I don't know, I just saw blue dew and I was like, I need it. All right. All right, so I got. Let me give you some more blue. We're gonna garnish with the code red. <laughs> when was the last time you had code red? Uh, like 10 years ago, but I loved it. All right. Do I stir it? Yeah, of course. Oh man, so this Wait. is the first thing we're making. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, thank God, not the hot fries. <laughs> I wouldn't do that If you. you whipped out the hot fries on this, what are you gonna do with that? Do it. The chlorplunk? Is that like an Oreo? We eat it at the end? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Oh. The peanut butter mixed with the blue dew. It's very frothy. I'm getting a lot of foam on this. Mm. I would say this is a 5 out of 10 for a milkshake. Yeah, not great. Yeah, when you get some chocolate, that's when it goes south. All right. Well, that was a nice little appetizer, I guess. <laughs> I can't wait to throw some ham and fish on top of that. <laughs> All right, next up, the main course. Okay, talk us through the main course. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is <laughs> basically a hot ham and cheese with fish sticks. The oh. kicker, though, is the queso instead of like regular cheese. What we're gonna do with the queso is we're gonna take hot fries and turn them into dust mix it in with the queso to make some extra spicy queso. Hot fried dust queso. It's got a ring. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open up the good old Gordon's. How many of these are we cooking? I mean, I feel like we, we cooked the whole box, mm -hmm. right? All right. All right, so we put these on a pan. Mm -hmm. Voila, and Gordon says, uh, what? 25 minutes. All right, I'm we'll gonna put these in a 425 degree oven uh, while you <laughs> all the weird do the rest all the weird you said you do before. all right we're gonna do something different with the buns okay what are we gonna do with the buns we're gonna make this big mac style so we're gonna have a third bun oh i'm liking this now yeah okay all is right. it gonna be like fish on one level ham mm -hmm. on the other mm -hmm. have you ever wondered why hamburgers are called a hamburgers when there's no ham in them uh yeah that's a good point so the way we're going is two bottoms one top yep that's it so what we're gonna do so we're actually gonna go ham on the bottom. Okay, ham on the bottom. Fish sticks on top. Fish sticks on top. Cheese on both layers. All right, so we got the fish in the oven. Yeah, it's time to cook the ham. All right. What do you normally do with your ham water? I pour it in the sink. You don't drink it? No way. Is that cooked? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cooked, dude. You eat it straight. <laughs> we're just gonna crisp it up in the pan. You got a circle cutter? Uh. What's that? Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. And then we just cut the rest with a knife. Oh, the sound of the ham. <laughs> is this gonna pop right out? You remember this knife? Here you go. Wow, this is some uh, tough ham. I mean, the ham is about a half a, I mean, what is that? 
Yeah, half an inch thick. I've never seen ham like this, but when I saw it in the freezer section at Dollar General, I was like, that ham is going home with me. It smells What's it not smell great like? for me. <laughs> like heart I, disease? I think it's like a mix of the dew, the butter dew, <laughs> with ham. Yeah. And I'm definitely starting to get some of that Gordon's fish dick in my mouth. <laughs> it's like I can taste the sea. Ooh, there you go. I kind of want to try a little piece of the ham, though. Try it. Okay. Do you want to try the flaky bit? No, I just want to take a little bite. It is cooked, right? I think. Uh, fully cooked. Keep refrigerated. Cheers. Can't go bad with a ham like that. Pretty good. No more? No, I'm saving room. I am, no, I'm saving room. Because if I'm, if I'm going to throw up later, I want as little ham coming up as possible. We've got two ham discs. Perfect. Let's get them in the pan. Oh, here, I'll just bring uh, heat, non-stick pan, and you think we'll cook it for how long on each side? Uh, until it's brown. Okay. Just brown it. So we'll bring them back when they're brown. Preparation instructions. Empty contents into a saucepan, then heat on stove for 10 to 15 minutes, or place a microwave safe container and heat on high for two to three minutes. There's, now we're talking. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a bowl. Yeah. Here's, an, here's another spoon. I don't know if you, oh, oh, that looks thick. <laughs> Let me smell it. It smells like Velveeta, kind of. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> get, get it, dude. Get it in the bowl. All right, so to flavor the queso, we're using the hot fries. Okay. Okay. Hot fries, they look like Cheetos. Yeah. Okay, so you're mashing, uh, you're crushing the hot fries and you're just gonna put it in the cheese. It's like seasoning. You wanna try a little bit of the dust? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're putting the entire bag. When you said seasoning, I thought it would just be like but A light slightly... dusting, yeah. No, <laughs> That's you... not a light dusting. No, you thought wrong. We're turning queso blanco into queso, what's orange? Oranges. Oranges. That looks disgusting, man. I think you made a mistake. <laughs> Dude, roll with it. When have I ever made anything bad? <laughs> That's right. This could be the night. <laughs> Should you microwave it? Yes. Okay. No, we're gonna eat it straight out All of right. that. How long do I put it in the microwave? Uh, two to three minutes. But oh. do a minute and a half, we'll stir it. Okay. And then another minute and a half. Okay. Right. Oh, I'll just, give it a stir. I got your ham. Thanks. Here's your first. Oh, that looks like a great slice of ham. Ham round? Yeah, nice work. Second piece of ham round. There you go. All right, let's get the queso back in. It's uh, still pretty thick looking. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> we might need to add some liquid. I don't think that. it's gonna thin out because the dust you added to it. <laughs> oh, God. oh yeah, it thinned up. Did it? Not really. Go ahead and pour a little milk in there. You sure? Yeah, because right. we can always reheat it. <clears throat> Was that too much? No. Okay. Are we gonna do anything to the buns? I mean, they're gonna have so much on them. Yeah, no, I want soft buns. You want soft buns? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What does that mean? You want me to microwave them? <laughs> no, just, actually we should butter and toast them. Butter and toast these? Yeah. So the way you toast a bun in a pan, you put some butter in it and you just toast one side. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay. Here, I'll show them. That's disgusting. See? That's, that's a pretty bread flour. Look at it. Yeah. I'm growing a little, I'm growing some bread. All right. So I got those okay. down with some butter. All right. So now we're just waiting for the fish sticks and then it's assembly time. Yeah. All right. So, uh... We'll catch up with you guys later? Yeah, we'll see you guys when the fish sticks are done. All right. Mmm, crispy! All right, so the oh. queso... I got them a little. No, that's great. Okay. Do you want to just dump them? Looks great. All right, so the queso... Hold on, man. The queso's gotten thick on us. It's... It's thick. So we're going to use some Code Red. <laughs> No, you're not. To thin it No, up. you're If you put one splash of Code Red in there, it's over. <laughs> All right, assembly time. Oh, God, okay. Assembly time. Take me there. Okay. You didn't put any Code Red in that, did you? We'll find out. Oh, God, okay. All right, <laughs> here we go. All right, step one. Step one. Catch up. Okay. <sighs> this might be the only one of these we ever make. 
What do you mean? Like the, this style episode. Why? Because this, I am so nervous about this. In and a I, good way? But I'm the dummy that bought all this stuff thinking it, we would make something magnifique. You are doubting me. Maybe I am. Do, you know? No doubt. Wow. Committed. I'm committed to it. Clearly not. Okay. All right. Ketchup, now, horseradish. Yeah. Now it's the layer of fish sticks. Okay. You want me to do mine? Sure. How many? Three? Three. Three across the bottom. I'm glad we cooked the whole box. Yeah. Well, we're Should we do snack. a double stack? Oh, yeah. That sounds great. It's like uh, Lincoln Logs. Mm -hmm. It's like Lincoln Logs. All right, now that we've got that, it's time for the second bun. Okay. Give a little pat. Ooh, crunchy. Right, now it's ham time. No more liquid on the top. That's where the cheese is coming in. All right, okay, okay, okay. I need a spoon. <laughs> Don't eat, no, not that spoon. It's time for the- It is so thick. <laughs> that is too thick for comfort. All right, look. Why don't we, uh, we'll just do a small. A dollop? Sp yeah, small spread. Hot fry queso on a ham steak <laughs> on top of a fish sticky ketchup-y horseradish base. <laughs> we are dead. <laughs> oh, thank God we got some Code Red to drop with just to really choke it down with. Oh, you did it on the top. Oh, flip. Ooh. Yeah, the you, finest of flips. You gotta get a lot of wet stuff. Oh, you're gonna put a hot fries on it too. Yeah. Should we do a, like Across. a checkerboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's gonna give a nice, nice crunch. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Don't knock it until you try it. Dude, I'm gonna try it and I will eat the entire thing. Good. Cause you know, there's never a meal that we cook that we just don't completely devour. It's true. All right, that's it. Why change now? Yeah. And then caps? Cap it up. Yeah. Can I just hold it for a second? I mean, it's got some flair to it. I'm worried it's gonna be too dry, but you know, I'm not gonna critique it now. Uh, let's go ahead and move to the table. I'm ready to put this in my mouth. <laughs> Well, Alex, we're here. It's time to eat the fishy ham tower of spicy fries. I'm gonna throw up tonight. Are you proud? No. Are you proud of what you've done here? Honestly, I'm ashamed. <laughs> All right, well, I think we just gotta try it. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna uh, give mine a good. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> the, All right. The queso cheese looks like just straight cement. <laughs> it's turned into craft singles. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's so dry. <laughs> How you feel? Are you, are you proud, Dad? <laughs> the queso is hitting real weird. So I'm getting the queso. The fish sticks at first. The fish sticks might be the best part of this. The fish and the ham does not go that bad. The part that's real fighting for attention, that spicy weird cheese, and then that ketchup on the bottom. I like the ketchup on the bottom. <laughs> I feel like it needs more ketchup. Oh no, I got the ketchup here. Honestly, I was expecting so much worse. It's not that bad. I'm gonna eat this entire sandwich. <laughs> it really was not bad. But it's definitely, Man, how do I get, I don't know where to get the, I don't know where the, I don't know the best place oh, to get the Oh, the cheese. Okay. The I, cheese is not good. I will say this is a true original recipe. <laughs> like, this is definitely not on YouTube. No. The fishy ham Big Mac. God, that cheese is horrible. It's almost too big. I can't fit it in my mouth. Mm. Oh gosh. More? What's the fish? What's the fish stick brand name? Let me try some hot fries with it. Gordon's. You know, trust the Gordon's fisherman. The Gordon's man. You know what I want? A little. 
Red on the rocks. A little chaser of uh, Code Red. Honestly, if it wasn't for that horrible cheese, <coughs> not bad. I actually don't mind it. The ham and the fish goes pretty well together. Mm -hmm. um, with the ketchup. I like the ketchup. I think we could, if it was just an Amer a slice of American cheese, yeah, it would have been good. So I think if we had to give you an F in this meal, it was probably- The horrible the, cheese. The cheese. All right, I'm gonna take a bite and I'm gonna choke it down with some Code Red. I want the full experience. Can I get some more ketchup before you yeah. really dig in? Is that what you wanted? That'll work. All right. What's wrong with you? The hot fried cheese hit me. All right. Are you not gonna do this with me? I need a minute. I wanna have it all in my mouth at the same time. Dude, code red, not what I remember. Oh my God. The combo is really good. The things that we've put in our body, I hope to God you never win rock, paper, scissors again. Me? You are not. I'm not a good ingredient buyer. No. no. Mine's falling apart now. Yeah. Look at this little combo. Ham, fish dig, and, and hot, hot fries. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, look at this combo. Fish stick. Code red. A little sweet. That's a sweet stick. I need more ketchup. To finish this, you need, you, you gotta have. A, Can you just put some on the board? Okay, that's good. Okay. Um. Oh! All right. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, here we go. Get out of here. All right. Now that's what we're talking about. I think you went wrong with the hot fries. Doctoring the ketchup. Yeah. I think if you kept it just plain, uh -huh. and then this had a, a slather of queso on it. Right, but. Great. I didn't, if that was the case, I feel like it was cheating. I can't <laughs> just like open up a can and that's just part of the meal, you know? I mean, you put the Butterfinger in, well. It's different. Are we gonna finish the meal off by eating our soggy Butterfingers? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. The. Wait. It, they look brown. <laughs> they have not aged well. Do you see mine? <laughs> it's brown. I'm not eating that. <laughs> Fair enough. This was not good. You didn't like it? What about it did you not like? Besides the queso. The queso ruined it for me. Really? That was took it out of, yeah. out of contention. Yeah. Visually, though? It looked good. 10 out of 10. Honestly, the biggest surprise for me was the fish stick and ham combo. Would have never guessed that'd be good. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can think of any dish that has fish sticks and ham together. No. Surprisingly delicious, honestly. Surfing mean, mud. Cheers. Well, Alex. Our first oh yeah. You got a drink, man. Sorry, I'm laughing out. Well, this was our first. I buy it. You cook it. Or I buy it. I, yeah, tonight I bought it and this is what you made. No. Not right. my finest work. Why don't you guys leave us a comment? Let us know what you think of Alice's fishy ham tower. Better yet, let us know what you think about this style of episode. Yeah, do you Should guys like this? More? Should we do this maybe like once a month, every couple of months? Do you like this mixed in with our normal tasty recipes? Um, and then I think the last thing we do is we gotta rate it. Was this okay cooked or okay? Don't. Dude, this is a solid, like, tie for me. A 50-50. Yeah. Because had it not been for the queso, I would have thoroughly enjoyed this. You know, I will say, I still taste the queso in my mouth. <laughs> Out of all the flavors, it's, I taste the queso. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Everything else was good. Crisp of the, the fish stick. Mm -hmm. the, the fish and the ham combo was so surprisingly good. It kind of has to overshadow the it, garbage oh, cheese. Yeah. And then the ketchup with the horsey sauce mm -hmm. 
with the bun, choking it down. <laughs> with a nice cold code rate. Can I get a little bit more of that? <laughs> I think, you know, Alex, I think is our inaugural. You're gonna give it to me? I think our inaugural. I'm gonna get some participation I you cooking. points. I think we're gonna say this was okay cooked. Nice. And uh. I didn't totally f it up. No, you did great. And with that, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yep, like, subscribe, comment. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Let's get cooking! But I'm gonna get the Butterfinger. Okay. So. Oh, dude. <laughs> the butter do, the, the butter do shake did not hold up. It's completely separated. <laughs> okay, I got my Butterfinger. Dude, do not eat that. Please don't eat that. This has turned into spoiled milk. Wait, you said fish sticks? Yes, fish sticks. Fish dicks? Fish sticks. Oh, okay. Uh, frozen fish dicks. So, uh... <laughs> 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 Alright. Frog in here?